Hello, I'm Emily Barker. Welcome to a CFMEU News Update for the 12th of March. Young mine workers gathered in Mackay this week to discuss the future of their union. 30 young men and women from across Queensland attended the union's first youth conference. Issues topping the agenda included safety, negotiating with increasingly powerful multinational companies, implications of the upcoming federal election and keeping the union strong as companies increase their fly-in, fly-out workers. CFMEU National Secretary Michael O'Connor said it was young people's turn to make a difference to keep the union strong into the future. Let's hear what conference delegates had to say. The union benefits from my workplace for safety issues and enforcing the complying with our EA and other safety matters on site. They just give you support and encourage you to work safely. I think it's important because a lot of younger people these days don't realise how much the union has benefited us in the past. We need someone looking after us and I'm glad they're there to help us. And I'm proud to be a part of them. The Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, has backed action to tighten regulation of the 457 visa scheme for skilled foreign workers. During her tour of Western Sydney last week, Prime Minister Gillard said the government would crack down on 457 rorts by employers and strengthen guidelines to make sure Australian workers weren't missing out on jobs. The CFMEU has welcomed the federal government's commitment to the issue. CFMEU members joined a rally in Melbourne last week over business misuse of 457 visas, calling for better job opportunities for Australian workers. CFMEU Northern District coal miner Wade Ryan from Narrabri is continuing his winning streak as a professional boxer. After winning 25 of 30 fights as an amateur, including two Northern New South Wales middleweight titles, Wade recently won his third of three professional fights in Sydney. District Council Ross Whittaker said Northern District coal miners were extremely proud of Wade's achievements as a champion boxer and committed union member. The CFMEU Mining and Energy Division is launching a new smartphone app so members can get the latest union news and views wherever they are. To celebrate the launching of the app and to hear more about what's happening with the ACTU, we caught up with President Jed Carney. Thank you for joining me. My pleasure. Firstly, what are the big issues for the ACTU coming into an election year? Ah, well, I think an important thing to know is that an election year for us is just part of our ongoing campaigning and it does give us a little bit of extra leverage because all parties are on notice. It's a great opportunity for us to actually say to all parties what we think workers of Australia need. Uh, the big issue items for us right now, of course, are um, things that are happening with the Fair Work Act, particularly mm -hmm. right of entry. Uh, we know that that's a really um, important issue for um, workers who work on remote mines, for example, who where the union organisers just can't get to meet their members and talk to them. Them. and we need that sort of thing fixed so we're working really hard on that but the big thing the thing that we think is really overarching and we're working hard on is this whole new issue of insecure work mm -hmm. and of course it's something that I think um, people in mining for example have worked with for a long time where projects come on and offline and they they have work this month and they don't have work yeah. um, next month but it's um, the CFMEU have been one of those unions that have done really good things in that area and we'd like to replicate those good things across the workforce. A lot of people are in insecure work, have insecure incomes and the ramifications are really serious. And of course you're talking on that issue in Canberra at the summit. Yeah, we have a community summit in Canberra uh, in the next two days mm. and the very interesting thing about this is when we started to talk about this we realised just how widespread it was and all sorts of community organisations came to us and said, look, hey, we are dealing with this yeah. day in, day out. We're so glad you're talking about it. Can we help? Can we do something about it? So we're holding a community summit with all of those community organisations like um, the Brotherhood of St Lawrence, the Australian Council of Social Services, uh, Legal Aid. Uh, there's a lot of people very interested in this because it's a real trap for people being caught in insecure work. So we're going to say, well, what can we do about it? And what raise the, the awareness. Ways the awareness. But not only that, uh, we want to find some answers okay. and some solutions. So that's what we're going to be working on. And I guess just finally, you're helping the miners launch their new smartphone app, yeah. which is a great way for them to, to engage with their members. Yep. 
Uh, this is so exciting. I mean, as a movement, we are always looking for better ways to communicate with our members. It's pretty hard with the traditional media these yeah. days to get positive stuff out there about what we do. And of course, we all know we do fantastic stuff as a movement. And having an app where everybody loves their phone, everybody checks their phone, I couldn't even tell you Non-stop. how many times a day. <laughs> I'm guilty of it as well. Um, to have union news, your union information, to know what's going on in your union right at your fingertips is fantastic. And I, I really applaud the CFMEU for doing this. It's very exciting. The app is available for download on Google Play and the iTunes App Store. Just search CFMEU Mining and Energy. For more information on these stories plus the latest on the Let's Spread It Around campaign, just go to the CFMEU website.